Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping. Tactical Nut here, and today I have something seriously cool to show you that I just got for my birthday, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, like I just said, um, I just got something for my birthday that was incredibly amazing. Um, now, today is Sunday, April 17th. My birthday is actually this Wednesday on the 20th, but I was celebrating today with my parents, and uh, we went out to eat lunch and stuff, and had a good time, went back to their house, and my dad walks out with what's behind me right here. Now, just a second, I'll pick up the camera so I can show you. Now, I haven't really done any research on it. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I was so excited, I figured, I'm going to go ahead and show you anyway, and maybe if one of you knows something about it, you can share it in the comments below. What you have right here is a 1861 Lee Enfield three band replica. Right down here, hopefully you can see it over the glare, it says 1861 tower. Um, little proof mark there, here. You have Birmingham Small Arms Trade with their symbol. Um, so, I mean, wow. This thing is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Let me put this back on the tripod real quick. Um, that way I can turn this over and show you the other side. Now, I've never owned a muzzle loader before. I've shot one uh, twice, I think it was. Actually, it wasn't even really two occasions. I got to shoot a couple rounds out of a buddy's uh, a long time ago, back in the late 90s. Um, but here's the other side, just to show you. Now, a little story on this, as you can see here, hopefully. Uh, Black Powder Italy. Peter Soli, 0.577 caliber, a couple of numbers here, I'm not really sure what these stand for yet, uh, that will come in time, but just as a point of reference in size, this thing is taller than Baby Glock, <laughs> so it's a long rifle, um, now luckily my parents did give me the money to um, go out and get all the supplies I need that I'm going to use to or required to shoot a muzzle loader since I don't have any of that, never owned it. Um, didn't come with a DVD, that guy's name on it, um, and some paperwork, I guess. Now I'm not sure if this is just who imported it since it was made in Italy, but uh, Dixie's gun work out of, oh here you go, at the bottom, Tennessee. Hopefully you can see that. I can't really see the viewfinder because of the sun. Um, but it does have some loading data that comes with this, so that'll come in handy for me, since I've never done this before. Um, but my dad, my mom and dad both went down to Fort Fisher, uh, North Carolina, just for a visit. And while they were there, they happened to see a raffle for this gun right here. Now literally, I think my dad put in 10 bucks for the raffle. Because um, there was a guy drawing the name, I forget the name, he had written a book that's supposed to be, I don't know, the best book on the history of Fort Fisher. Um, which, if you're not sure about that, please look it up. There is a lot of interesting stuff. I've been there many times. Um, but my dad won. My dad won. He's had this for a while. Um, he hasn't used it. And, you know, he told me today, he's like, look, you know, as soon as your birthday was coming around, I knew you would enjoy this and you would really get to use it so I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to one I'm sure the guys at Cabela's are gonna direct me to all the supplies that I'm gonna need um, but man I am looking so forward to going out and shooting this it's like shooting a piece of history and of course I love history especially military history um, and I mean the quality of craftsmanship on this is superb I mean you do have your sling mounts here and here uh, it does have adjustable sights as you pick up and just move this little piece back and forth let's see if I can 
see it on the viewfinder to help you. But the other hand, maybe lift this up. You can scoot this down and change the height. Now, I don't know how in real life useful that is um, or how accurate that is to the real distance, but uh, that'll be one thing I get to see when I get to take it out, right? Um, I mean, I'm sitting down. <laughs> this is not even in the frame. But man, man, I'm so excited. I mean, this is the kind of craftsmanship and the kind of coolness, the kind of heirloom quality firearm that I'll be passing down to Baby Glock one day. Um, I mean, wow. <laughs> I just can't say it enough at how excited I am to eventually be able to get to take this thing out and really sling some lead. Okay, guys, just was too excited to hold off on doing a vi video on this. Um, like I said, I'll do some research on it to try to find out more information. Um, if you know anything, please feel free to share in the comments below, because like I said, I've never owned a muzzleloader before, so I don't know a whole lot about them. All right, guys, in the meantime, be prepared, have fun.